Welcome back to LightTac. I'm Jim Jansen, and this is part three in our Expressway series where we will explore the configuration wizard on Expressway. So I invite you to come with me and configure LightTac. configuration of the wizard. We're going to log in first with my admin account. And we arrive at the landing page for the wizard. The wizard says that we can make this server an expressway or a VCS. And we have to check the series of server we're going to choose, either expressway or the VCS server. And the the decision here is depending on what kind of licensing model you're going to use. I'm going to use the Expressway series because I'm going to do smart licensing for my Expressways. Then I got to select my type. Is this going to be an Expressway C or an Expressway E? If you note, if I change that, it changes the type to VCS Control and VCS Expressway. I'm going to choose the Expressway series. Again, like I said, we're going to do smart licensing. Then we have a section here for the different selected services we can choose. We can say we want this to be a WebEx hybrid service, MRA, Jabber Guest, Microsoft Gateway services, a registrar so that endpoints can actually register to the Expressway C, B2B, or Collaboration CMR Cloud. We can't choose every item on this list because there's some items that cannot co-locate on the same server. Some of them have to run on separate servers. We're going to see what I can co-locate. So from the help on this expressway, we can see that we have hybrid, MRA, Jabra Guest, Microsoft Gateways, Registrar, CMR Cloud, and B2B. And we can see that since we're going to do MRA, what I can co-locate. Now if I look at the column here for WebEx hybrid service connectors, you cannot run a hybrid connector with MRA. Now I've seen people who ran both connectors and MRA at the same time, but with some kind of challenges. Different kinds of services don't work all the time. So that's why the developer and the BU will say, you cannot run both at the same time. And they won't support you. We cannot run Jabra Guest or MRA at the same time. Neither can you run the Microsoft Gateway services at the same time as MRA is running. You can't have a registrar as the Expressway C where endpoints can register to the Expressway C and still run MRA. You can have CMR Cloud and you can have business to business with a little exception right here. Again, we look at the uh, rules down here. Hybrid services connectors may co-reside with the Expressway C of traversal pairs used for calling services subject to the number of uh, users limitation. Uh, here's the little colon. If your hybrid call service or B2B traversal pairs is also used for MRA, then the hybrid service connector must be on a separate Expressway C. This is because we do not support the connectors being hosted on the C that is used for MRA. So basically you have to have a sec second pair of Expressway Cs for the hybrid services, again, for that special call connector service. Now, I've had several cases come in where they actually talked about trying to co-locate those. So from this chart here, we understand what we can and cannot co-locate. So I go back to my wizard. Since this is a demonstration for MRA, I'm only choosing MRA. And I'm going to continue. I can see my serial number. It gives me information about PAC and registration licensing. It gives me a description of some of the licenses I might want to include. It's just an optional license for RMS. If I'm going to do some kind of B2B uh, configuration, uh, Expressway Gateways, if I'm going to do that. But 
we don't need to add anything other than make this an expressway right now. We can come back and discuss any other option keys later. I continue on, and then I see my base cons configurations. I see my IP addressing, so I'm going to have to name this host something. So I'm going to name this Expressway C as my host name. My domain is liketac.com, and my primary DNS is going to be 172.16.20.5, which is my Windows server for my internal DNS. I'm going to change my NTP address from the pool to 172.16.20.6, which I believe is my Red Hat server, Eastern Standard Time, and then I click Save. And then I'm going to click Finish. Now it requires a restart. You notice all of a sudden I'm now been provisioned as an Expressway C. I'll click Restart, and then click OK and we will pause the video while the server restarts. Now that the server is back up, we're going to log back in again and take a look. Okay, so now we can see that we have an Expressway C. We have all our menu items here that we can go to. We can check the status overview, which I'm at right now. It's been up for 2 minutes and 45 seconds. And this is my IP address of my interface. We can look at that again under Interface IP. We see my default gateway. We see my LAN interface. Just a note about the default gateway. Since I don't have the firewall set up yet with the dot one, I'm just using temporarily for access my SVI on my switch as a default gateway so I can get, reach that and reach other networks. We look at the time. The time is getting synchronized. I said dot six on the previous video, but it's actually dot three for my Red Hat server, so I just adjusted that time. These are things that you might do during your regular deployment. You notice that you made a mistake or had a typo. That's okay to make mistakes. We learn from those, but as long as we have it corrected, then we can, we're gonna get synchronized to our time servers. So the next phase of this deployment is going to be to configure the expressways. We also note the alarm here. Alarm is a configuration warning regarding H23 and SIP protocols being off. They have to be turned on. We will look at that in the next video by going to these protocols. I hope this was informative and please subscribe to LikeTac.